uh, x plus y into zp plus x uh, minus y into zq is equal to x square plus y square. Okay, this problem is a problem of uh, Lagrange linear equation. Here p equal to x plus y into z and q is equal to x minus y into z and r is equal to x square plus y square. Therefore, this equation is PP plus QQ. QQ is equal to a Lagrange equation. Now, solution. First, we will write auxiliary equation. Uh, auxiliary equation is DX by X plus Y into Z is equal to DY by x minus y into z is equal to dz divided by x square plus y square. So we cannot uh, take group, uh, we cannot use grouping method because uh, there is no variable is absent in equations. So, so here we will use a uh, different trick that is by using Lagrange multipliers take uh, multipliers uh, I am taking 1, 1 and 0 then we will get another fraction must be added ok therefore therefore this then we get we get fraction is equal to this this I call equation number one fractions in one is equal to another fraction dx plus dy all divided by x plus y into z plus x minus y into z so this is equal to you can write dx plus dy is derivative of x plus y divided by um, x x into z y into z x into z minus y into z this and this get cancelled therefore you will get 2x now we will get a new fraction this now if I take uh, this fraction and this fraction then we can use grouping method so this is dx by x plus y into z this this must be equal to this d into x plus y divided by 2xz now if i cancel x and z and z you will get dx by x plus y is equal to d d of x plus y divided by 2x now if you cross multiply you will get 2x into dx is equal to x plus y into derivative of x plus y now we can integrate because the variable and the integrand are in same variable on both sides so if you integrate, integrate, you will get the integral 2x is integral 2x is x square. So x square which implies x square is equal to integral x plus y in of d of x plus y is x plus y all square by 2. This is x plus y all square by 2 plus some c, which implies x square minus x plus x plus y all square by 2 is equal to c1. So we get one equation. So we get one solution. Now, similar method, we can use uh, another solution. Here we take uh, 
multiply this as 1, 1, minus 1, 0. Now I am taking 1, 1, minus 1. Now if I take a multi, take, take multipliers 1, 1, 1, minus 1, 0, then we get dx minus dy plus 0, this fraction, fraction must be equal to um, x plus y into z minus x minus y into z, right? x plus, yes, x plus y into z into x minus y into z. Now, now, okay, so this is equal to, this can be written as d of x minus y divided by, this must be equal to x z plus y z minus x z minus minus plus y z. So this and this get cancelled. So 2 y z. So d of x minus y equal to 2 y z. Now we will use grouping. grouping. So if I take uh, the second one and this I will group with uh, the this fraction. Okay. So therefore dy divided by x minus y into z is equal to d of x minus y by u into yz. Now yz, z and z get cancelled. 2y into dy is equal to u cross multiply. x minus y into d of x y. So, uh, by using the above method, you, if we integrate, integrate, you will get here y square is equal to x minus y all square divided by 2 plus some c2. It implies y square minus x minus y all square by 2 is equal to c2. This Solution is phi of, we can write this, y square minus x minus y, all square divided by 2, and the other solution is x square minus x plus y, all square divided by 2, x square minus x plus y, all square divided by 2, is equal to 0. So, so this is the required solution of PDE.